once we understand the three rules behind a series connection, we can then use Ohm's law to calculate unknown values within that circuit. So in this example over here, if we want to find the current in the circuit, we would start by, since we know already what the total voltage provided is by that battery, we would now start by calculating what the total resistance is. We know that in a series circuit, the resistance is added, which means that the total resistance here is the sum of the 3 ohm, the 5 ohm, the 1 ohm, and the 3 ohm resistors, which means that the total resistance in this circuit must then be 12 ohms. Once we know what our total resistance is, and we know what our total voltage is, we can use Ohm's law to say that our current must be equal to the total voltage divided by the total resistance. In this case, we've been given a total voltage of 20 volts for that battery. Total resistance we've calculated as 12, and we can then see here that our current in this circuit must be 1.67 amps. And because we know our rules for series connections, we know that the current at this point is 1.67, and this point is 1.67, and this point, and this point. The current is constant everywhere in that circuit. The next thing that we can calculate is we can calculate the voltage over individual resistors. So this voltmeter V1, we can say, since we know what the current is that's passing through it, and we know the resistance, we can use Ohm's law once again to calculate that voltage. We can say that the current being constant in series is 1.67. Voltage is our unknown. The resistance we've told is 3 ohms. Note here that you always take the resistance that is between the two points on that voltmeter, which means then that our reading on voltmeter V1 would be 5.01 volts. We can do this again. The same thing would apply for this here. We can see that the current is the same, the resistance is the same, and therefore the voltmeter reading on V4 would also be 5.01 volts. What we can then see if we call this voltmeter V5 here is it is possible to calculate the voltage over multiple resistors because we know that the current through those resistors remains constant. We know that the resistance there is added, so we can once again use Ohm's law to say that the voltage over those two resistors is equal to the sum of those two resistors and the current, which remains constant, as 1.67. Our voltage is the unknown and the resistance is the sum of 5 and 1. And we can then safely say that the voltage across those two resistors is then 10.02 volts. What we can now also do is we can see that the second rule for series connections also applies because we can now see that our total voltage provided is 20 volts and the total voltage used is the sum of V1 which we worked out as 5.01 volts. V 2 and 3, which we can combine to call V5 as 10.02, and R4 or V4 as 5.01, and we see that gets us to a value of 20.04 volts. Obviously, this 0 0.04 here is just because we have rounded our current off and is negligible and would not penalize you at all. So, what we are trying to get at here is we're trying to show that using your three laws for series connections and Ohm's law, you can always solve for unknown values in your circuit.